Okay, this is going to be Charles. I mean, let's dig deep and see what we can find out about what's going on and what's going to go on for Charles. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, listen, it makes such a huge difference if you would subscribe. So please just go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very, very, very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I'm just kind of obsessing a little bit about Charles and what's going to happen and is he going to be on the throne and, and how's it going to go and I've just got questions to ask and I hope they're the questions you want to ask. So what I did is I kind of distilled it down to one, two, three, four uh, questions uh, that we'll go through in this video and the first one is will Char Charles actually take the throne? I mean, we've got to start there. Will he take the throne? He could drop dead before uh, his mother, you know, who knows? So will he take the throne? Uh, number two, will Camilla be queen immediately? In other words, when Charles becomes queen, uh, sorry, when Charles becomes king, will Camilla become queen right then? Or is this going to take a while? The third question is, uh, will he be king for, you know, 10 years? You know, will he be king for at least 10 years? Because he's not young. He's 70 something years old now. So let's find out about that. And then number four, which will be the Celtic cross, is will the majority of Brits deeply approve and appreciate Charles's reign? What can the cards tell us about that? That's what I want to know. Or will he just mess it all up and you guys will just want to be done with him? And may maybe even the monarchy. Let's find out. So this is the Revival Art Tarot by Turaco. Turaco or Turacho? I'm not sure. Studios. Uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow, I think, from Russia via Norway. But um, they're beautiful cards. They were a little pricey, and um, but I love to use them. They're lots of art. The guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is um, you know leaves a lot to be desired. You know you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print. But on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So. You know, no loss that it's a bad uh, guidebook. However, the cards are just amazing. And uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards. They're really beautiful. And I love using them. And, uh, you know, I do this to sort of sort of mix up the cards and to give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see, you know, more of what the deck looks like. Otherwise, you just kind of see... The first few, uh, the first, the only the cards that are uh, dealt or that are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this uh, Toracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck, and I think they're beautiful, and I love using them. Um, they are pretty, pretty cool. Okay, before we get started. On this, let's take a minute for a bit or a second, really, for meditation. That's all it takes. Okay, so we're going to talk here. Well, Charles, first question of four questions, and this will be three cards to answer this. Will charge Charles actually take the throne? Will Charles actually take the throne? Will Charles actually take the throne? Will Charles take the throne? Three cards. One, two, three. Let's see what the cards have to say about that. Will Charles Take the throne. The first card out of the ramp, strength. That's a yes. Okay, strength. 
Couldn't be clearer than that. This is eight of the Major Arcana. So this is it's pretty far along that journey. Next card is um, the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords warns us to be cautious. Uh, the Four of Swords uh, is uh, typically represents like a knight who's taking a rest uh, uh, after or before battle. Uh, he's got three swords that could pierce him, one sword usually at his side. Uh, he's got his trusty uh, uh, conscience here next to him. So this is telling that uh, he has strength and uh, it needs to be exercised with caution. And the last card for Will Charles Take the Throne, look at that, Three of Cups, Celebrations. Cups are emotional, compassion. This will be the pinnacle of his uh, career. So yeah, it looks like he will. He will take the throne. Now the next question I have for Charles is, will Camilla be queen immediately? Okay, I don't doubt that he may try to, to eventually uh, make her become queen, but I want to know now, will Camilla be queen immediately Camilla Camilla this is Camilla this is Camilla will Camilla immediately when Charles takes the throne will she become queen okay three cards wow both those cards really wanted to come out so that one wanted to be there so two and three. Okay. Will Camilla be queen immediately? That's a very interesting the way that happened. First card for that is the Eight of Swords. Wow, that's very interesting because the, the Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, the Eight of Swords typically represents being surrounded by those swords and feeling trapped. So, uh, but you're not really trapped. If you uh, open your eyes and, and maneuver around, you find that you can't escape that circle of swords. So this is almost saying that, you know, it's something she doesn't necessarily really want. Interesting. The next card for Will Queen uh, Camilla, look at that, I almost said it. Will Camilla be queen immediately? Is the Queen of Coins. Uh, okay, value. Coins are value. Queen of value. Wow. This couldn't be clear. It looks like maybe yes. The next card is the Page of Cups. Okay, cups are emotion, compassion. Uh, this page is the weaker of the court cards, so he's bringing us a message of compassion with a basket full of flowers. So I think he's telling us that, yeah, um, she's going to be, you know, it's not necessarily something she really wants. She's tormented by it. She, it, Her value is recognized in a queenly way. And uh, this small page of uh, compassion is telling us, let's you know, kind of let's give her a break. Wow, that's beautiful. Interesting. Okay. The next question, will Charles be king for 10 years? And cards, I hope you understand. I want to know if he'll be king for at least 10 years. Will he be king for at least 10 years? Will Charles be king? for at least 10 years. Will Charles be king for at least 10 years? This will be three cards. One, no, I'm not taking that one. Two and three. Will Charles be king for at least 10 years? Okay, first card out of the rank is okay this is the king of swords this is the king of truth justice rules and law this is a yes card for me and uh, king of swords next card for will charles be king for at least 10 years is the eight of coins okay the eight of coins is the apprentice this is the guy who's polished his craft he's trying to get it perfect that's very interesting so it sounds like this is a very strong yes. And then the third card for will he be king for at least 10 years? Look at that. The same card for before. Three of Cups, Celebrations, Emotional Compassion Celebrations. So yeah, he's going to be king for it and really polish his craft as king for at least 10 years. Yep, definitely. Wow, that's cool. And then the uh, last uh, draw, which will be a Celtic Cross, 10 cards, 6 cards, and then another 4 cards. Will the majority of Brits deeply approve and appreciate Charles's reign. So will the majority of Brits deeply approve and appreciate Charles's reign? Will the majority of Brits deeply approve 
and appreciate Charles's reign. Six cards to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will the majority of Brits deeply approve and appreciate Charles's reign? So the signifier for that question right here is, again, the King of Cups. Cups of compassion, emotion. Wow. This is yes. That's the signifier. But the challenge to it, will the majority of Brits uh, deeply appreciate and approve Charles's reign? So this is temperance. Ah, though this is very high up in the major arcana. And temperance is finding that that perfect balance, you know, tempering something just right. So the, the challenge to him being appreciated with these cups, king of cups, appreciated as king, uh, is uh, finding that right balance. The basis of this reading then, with this eight of swords, again, just like Camilla, it's really being tormented by this truth, justice, rules, law to get that right. Very interesting. The past of this reading for Will Charles's uh, reign be deeply appreciated um, is, um, wow, is the emperor. Yep, yep. The uh, that shows him as uh, all ruling, all powerful, in charge of everything, and and knowing. I mean, we respect the emperor. Uh, the sky is wow. This comes back again. So this is the three of cups celebrations. Very nice, very nice indeed. And then the uh, final outcome for the first part of this, the likely outcome for the first part of this, is judgment. Yep, that's the Brits judging him. My goodness, I love this. The last part of this, the Celtic Cross, will the majority of Brits deeply approve and appreciate uh, Charles's reign? The Look at that, two cards wanted to come out. I'll use this one first, and then I'll use this one. So the um, signifier of that question, will the majority of Brits deeply appreciate, is strength. He's going to de demonstrate strength. Wow. The next card, which came out with that one, is um, the star. Oh, my God. So, yeah, he's really going to shine in this role. Oh, my goodness. This is fantastic. Um, the hopes and the fears. Oh, look. No, one more card. The hopes and the fears for that is, um, oh, what coin is this? This is the page. Yeah, this is the page of coins. So this is the very weak um, value. Okay, uh, coins are value or money. And so the page of coins, the hopes and the fears is that he shows, he would say, um, um, uh, that, you know, he hopes at least that he shows some value and, um, my goodness to the Brits, my goodness. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing, will the Brits deeply appreciate him is, uh, what of wands. This is the two of wands, short term plans. So yeah, obviously, even though it looks like he's going to be there for at least 10 years, that's a short reign for a King. And so he knows that he has to make the best of the short term plans, um, to leave something for the future. That is really, really beautiful. So will, Char will the Brits deep uh, deeply appreciate Charles's reign? We right out of the bat with the King of Cups, the King of Emotion. Yes. Uh, te uh, challenged by he's got to get it right. He's got to balance it with temperance. In the base of this, with this Eight of Swords, this is the torture. This is the tormenting question for him. In the past of this is the Emperor. That we, they will eventually look back at what he did and see him as really having been, you know, the Emperor. Uh, in the sky of that is the Three of Cups really aiming for those celebrations, which, you know, some of these cards are repeating over and over again. Uh, and then the likely outcome of the first part is the judgment. Yeah, that's, well, the judgment of the people will be what makes all this determined, and that's what he's going for. Then the uh, self of that question uh, shows that it's strength that he has to demonstrate. It's in the environment of being a star. The hopes and the fears is as, as this page of uh, coins that he shows uh, the value that he's worth after all these years of having studied that role. And then the uh, final outcome for everything with his two of wands is understanding his reign was just a short-term plan to set things up for the future of the monarchy. Beautiful reading, absolutely beautiful. So that's what the cards tell us. I mean, um, you've got to let me know what you think about it. Uh, the cards aren't wrong. I could be wrong. And uh, maybe I've missed a clue somewhere that, that you picked up on. So let me know what you think. I, I do want to know. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.